My book, Compost Everything, The Good Guide to Extreme Composting, has done very well. It became a bestseller on Amazon. It's sold much more than I thought it would. There is a Compost Everything, the movie coming out at the Homegrown Food Summit in just a couple of weeks, which you can sign up for at the link below this video. But one of the questions that I answer in the book uh, that I think is really important is how can you stretch your compost? What's the very best way to stretch your compost? Because as I write in there, my number one inarguable rule of composting is that you never have enough compost. I mean, you can pile up a great big pile of stuff and it rots down and rots down and rots down. Then you end up with like this much at the end of it and you started with two tons of material. You say, come on, how am I supposed to stretch that off across, you know, a thousand square foot garden? Uh, you know, I'm always composting. So people end up buying in composting or getting manure that might have herbicides in it and other problems. How do you stretch that compost that you have? I'm going to tell you. I tell you in the book, but I'm going to tell you right here now. I'm going to share my secret, and then you can decide whether or not it's worth $2.99 to go buy the Kindle version of the book. <laughs> but the way I stretch it is compost tea. Yeah, I know, you've heard of compost tea before. But I have found that just taking a couple shovelfuls of compost it and putting them in the bottom of a big barrel, like a 55-gallon drum, and then topping it off with water... I also like to add chicken manure to it because it's really good strong stuff and then I just let that barrel sit in the sun for a week or so and stir it up. I don't put in all the little bubblers and all that kind of thing. I'm not interested in making compost tea that's absolutely perfect and that I can you know sprinkle on my salad greens and that sort of thing. I'm looking for feeding the most amount of plants for the least amount of work and doing it real simply and often I'm in a place like when I was growing field corn. I had a field that was a long ways away from electricity and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't have, you know, I'm not going to go put a fish tank bubbler in the bottom of it. I just need to have that fertility and make it accessible. And I had a few thousand square feet of corn. And in order to feed that corn, uh, I couldn't just like take, you know, a couple shovelfuls of chicken manure and stretch it over 2,500 square feet or a few shovels of compost and then put it all over. It wouldn't work. I mean, I could put like a pinch on every corn kernel when I put them in, but that was not all that effective. So what I did was take a 55 gallon drum and I threw in, you know, a couple shovelfuls of chicken manure and a couple shovelfuls of compost and just let it sit there and rot. And then, I mean, it stunk. It was terrible, like a little marsh, you know, swamp water. But I'd stir that stuff up. And then every week or two, I would take a couple of watering cans with a little roses on the end unscrewed and then take that, fill them both full of water of sludge water, you know, Dave's stinking barrel of horrible, scary compost tea water, you know, raised anaerobically the scary way. And then I would just go along the base of all those corn, you know, those big corn stalks and pour it. I'd be like Aquarius, the manure bearer, and just water all the way along the edge. And the corn went crazy. And it was growing in sandy ground with a little bit of organic matter. It wasn't bad soil, but it wasn't great soil either. And I was able to feed all of that corn, every once in a while I'd throw another shovel full of manure in there, but I really, I probably used a five gallon bucket full of compost tops to feed all of that corn. And if I had decided to till it in and it would have baked away in the sun, it would have gotten lost, it wouldn't have gotten right where it needed to be. Uh, so I was able to stretch that stuff and just pour it out there. And you can do the same thing. It's not hard. You know, take a trash can and you could throw all your weeds in it and then fill that up with water and let all the weeds rot provided they don't have a bunch of seeds on them because the seeds will often go right through and not rot. But take your weeds, you know, throw in a little bit of manure. You can even, I mean, don't tell anybody, but you could take like a gallon of urine and put it in, you know, 10 gallons of water and it makes a really good liquid fertilizer. And you just go along and stretch that stuff much further than it would go otherwise. And I wouldn't put it on something that you're going to eat right away like I wouldn't pour it right on top of salad greens and then, you know, serve the salad greens in the house the next day. That's disgusting. Um, but that anaerobic decomposition, it just becomes this really rich stew of highly fertile water. And you can just take that stuff and pour it like liquid fertilizer on the base of the plants. And then whatever fruits they grow, tomatoes, corn, you know, broccoli, whatever, they're going to be fed with that stuff and they're going to get the 
you know, the combination of a little bit of water and that nutrition at the same time as they need it. And anytime they look like they're just not growing as much as you like, go along again and pour some more at the base. That way you can stretch a little bit of compost over a large space. You don't have to do that, you know, square foot gardening thing where it's one third compost in a bed. You can just use your native soil and get that active fungi and bacteria and all that stuff going along with the fertility and pour it in there. So that's that's my secret. And it's not a secret anymore because I just put it on YouTube. And it works really well. I've tried it. I've done it in the greenhouse. I've done it in my gardens. I've done it in the corn. They loved it. They did great. And I was able to stretch compost over a large space. That's just one of the tricks in my book, Compost Everything, The Good Guide to Extreme Composting. I also show you how to make um, fish emulsion, how to compost logs, how to deal with big massive trees without wasting all the fertility that they've taken up. There's a lot of really good information in there, but that's my secret of stretching the compost when you can't make enough, and I'll bet you can't make enough. So check the book out, $2.99 for the Kindle version, $9.99 for the paperback, and a lot of people have left really good reviews, so go look it up on Amazon, check it out. Thank you.